Okay, so today's review is of Mactagon Series 07 Dreadion. And this Dreadion is Darkest. Uh, I looked for I looked forever in Walmart. So for the darkest one. Um so I've got major, major complaints about this guy. And yet on the prototype all of these complaints just did not have were not there. They are all on the actual one. The prototype didn't... I did not complain about that once. Because all of my complaints are with the actual one. So, and I'll talk about that in the little in a little later in the review. But, let's get on with the description. Um, in episode 2, Mechtagon Mayhem, Raisinoid spawned him like Titanium Dragonoid spawned Xanthon. Um, later on in the episode, Raisinoid, uh, just, like, headbutted him, and then he was tamed, or something like that. I don't know how that, how that happened, but, how that happens, but, Raisinoid just headbutted him, and he was tamed. Yet, it took Drago and Dan several episodes, more like 20, for him to be tamed. Yes, that led to the episode back in sync or something like that, but that's not this review. So, Dredion was easily tamed, um, then in the recent episode, Gandalia Under Fire, which for spoiler alert, um, if you guys don't like this, skip, I'll just, just skip this, skip like a few minutes, and Gandalion Under Fire, where he fought against Xenthon, so Raisinoid and Magmel were like, they thought they could match, they wanted to match the power of, uh, Dan and Drago and Xenthon. And I'll bring Xenthon back in later with when I'm starting to complain about this guy. Um, they wanted to match the power, so they... Dan and Drago released, summoned Xenthon. Magmel and Raisinoid summoned Dredion. So that's pretty much it. So now let's get on with the card. Just like every other Mectagon in the Mectanium Surge line, they have a Mectagon Activator card, which is, of course, Dredion. Well, this one is obviously Dredion, but this one shows a Chaos Dredion. I don't know why, and I'm not even going to question it. So, yeah, so let's move on with the D card, which, again, has a picture of a Chaos Dredion. And it says, play during a battle where you have a Dredion with a Lanzado attached. Change one gate bonus to 300. This is card 3 out of 5D. Okay, so now on to my complaints. Um, this is going to take up like a majority of the review. Yes, in every single one of the Mectagon series, series plural form of series has this joint that can move the arm the shoulder can move 360 but yet they could not do that with Dredion they had to make a the wrist arm movement thing but they had to make that a ball joint but they could have made this Inside of his head, right there, they could have made that a ball joint. On the prototype, they had that. They had that on a ball joint. And these opened just fine. So, speaking of that, let's just open them up with his Mectagon Activator card. Uh, or just do that. He falls over and he opens. So... Uh, real quickly, you can pose the head, you just can move it down. Didn't even need to use his Mexico next to the card. Um, that's another thing I don't like about Dredion. None of the other ones do that except for Diesel. 
because his cannon he has cannons on his back and there's no metal underneath here so don't say you probably have metal underneath there no I don't um but this is has ticked me off yes Diesel has done that he has the gigantic cannons that fold on top but yet these can come these will come down so that's not the problem Silent Strike has arm articulation, like shoulder articulation, that you can go 360. They have the Shogun Battle Pad arm armor thing, whatever. Armor pad, whatever it was. That turned 360. Why could they not do that with Dredion? This ticks me off. Yes, they were going for, like, they were designing it just like Raisinoids. Uh, Bakugan form, but they could have done that just like in. They could have had this where the arms turned, but it's just ticking me off. And yet, another thing, they had. They could have done. They removed all ankle articulation. They removed the 360 ankle, but they just had to put this little thing right here. They had to hinder that with this little pad, and I'm afraid it's gonna break if I move it anymore. So you can just you can't even move the arms. It just pisses me off. They I can't do that. But uh, yes, this is the only Mactagon that can move his head, other than popping it popping up, and then just out of nowhere like the whole thing was designed like the legs I mean the arms and the chest were designed with die cast but that was all removed except for the chest and this little pad but yet they couldn't even keep it fully metal they couldn't even keep it fully metallic silver they had to paint it black and hollow it out Already, it feels like that's going to break very easily, which means it's not die-cast metal. Die-cast metal is thick metal. It just ticks me off. Uh, but yes, these, it does have the ball joint right there, which means you can do this. Like, look at, he's giving you the bird. You can do that. That's probably because he's the villain. Um, all credit goes to um, I, anyone who figured that out first. I remember seeing that on YouTube. Um, but real quickly, he he does have PVC little claw stabby things. Really, if a if a kid can po pokes his eye out with these, they deserve to lose an eye. Cause that's just stupid. You don't like throw it at someone. You don't throw a mechagon at someone. One because it's got die cast in it that can cause like concussion or something like that, or like bruise them. Um, I'm over exaggerating with that, but um, they deserve to lose an eye if they're like stabbing people in the eye. But anyway, this is the darkest one, as I said. It doesn't suffer from like what the Nexus has, like with a, um, like with Aqua's coloring and the shoulder pads being black, it doesn't suffer with, like, change of attribute with when the whole thing's, like, blue and then it changes to black just because of the shoulder pads. And it also doesn't suffer like that, like Braxion does. Same exact thing. But that's just a little, just something that just, that's a minor thing. Minor little, minor little nitpick. So, yeah, I spent way too much rambling with this mind, this major ramble time. Um, I do have to say his eyes do look like raisinoids in the show. Um, he is a major, major villain in the show. He is most definitely the Mectagon of the villain.
His G power is 180G. Uh, he does have Baku Nano ports on his head, on his arms. So, yeah. And on his legs, on his thighs. So, so yeah, let's compare him to all of the other Mechtagon in the series. Yeah, so this is only Mechtagon series 1 through 7, but yet we have through 9 has been, is released. So 1 through 9 is released now, but yet 10 through 14 has been announced. So in July, 10 through 14 is going to be out. So I'm going to be hunting down Mactagon non-stop. I'm going to be flat out broke. So I need a little help from you guys helping me make a partner. Um, if you guys like my my videos, tell uh, tell your friends to check out my channel. Um, I hope you guys like the skit. Um, me and Sal that are trying to do someone like combining skits or making two brand new skits. But I've got a plan for my skit. He's got a plan for his skit. We might mash the two together, but we're not sure. Um, there's not gonna be a we're not telling you what the plan is, only we know what the plan is for that. But, um, we're not sure what we're going to get for July and August, but we know what we're going to get for July of Mechagon and Bakunanos. So, yeah. Uh, we have no idea what Mechagon Titans are coming out, but we'll find that out later in the month. So, till next time, I'm Pyrus Masquerade, saying later days. And don't forget to check out CollectionDX.com. Don't forget to check out CollectionDX on YouTube. Don't forget to check out EVA Unit 4A's YouTube channel where he can say whatever the hell he wants because that's his personal channel. Don't forget to check out uh, SoundOut 12's channel. Don't forget to check out CSToys.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Uh, don't forget to check out Dawson Riders reviews. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to go to CSToys.com for all your Toku needs, Super Sentai needs, and even if you want to go and see, if you want Power Rangers, go to CSToysUSA.com. And yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, don't forget to check out Ryder, Ryder, and Ryder X Zero on YouTube. He does awesome reviews. Uh, don't forget to check out JT Mitchell 87 and um, follow all of those. Follow all of them on Twitter and follow me on Twitter. And you guys should know what we're, what I'm doing, like what, what stuff, what reviews I'm doing, what I'm doing recently. Um, all that other stuff, what review is going up next, what review has been put up, because what review is being uploaded now, and what I'm endorsing, and all this stuff. So, yeah. So, until next time, I'm Pirate Sounds Great.